We've got baseball. Brewers on the road as Milwaukee goes up against the Chicago White Sox. The MLB here on 2K Sports. A game changer, Alex Rios. We're going to get to see if he can change this game today. Thank you for being with us. 2K Sports brings you Major League Baseball live this Saturday afternoon. Thorn, Phillips, and Krupp. And it'll be Jake Peavy, our starting pitcher for today's game. Steve, what's he looking at here as he sees this Milwaukee lineup? Well, Jake Peavy on the mound on this one. And you got to take a look. He's got pitches that really move in every direction. That unbelievable two-seam fastball with great movement on it. A cut fastball. He can run it in on the hands of the left-handers. And an unbelievable slider that's his put-away pitch. A great arsenal of pitches and an aggressiveness on the mound. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup now for the Brewers. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, the thing you love about Ryan Braun when you watch his team play is the fact that he is so consistent and consistent with huge numbers. A lot of guys have consistency, but they don't put up the power numbers that Ryan Braun does. He is one of the special ones. Gomez at the plate. We're about ready to kick things off here, and he'll be receiving the first pitch of the game. Number two, Carlos Gomez. Ooh, and he has to hop out of the way of that two-seamer. Well, he barely got out of the way of that one. It's definitely, though, going to keep him from crowding the plate. And Peavy with a 1-0 delivery. A shot up the middle. And Gomez is retired. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Scouting these fielders. Steve. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Escobar settles in. One out, nobody on. Oh, Cut one. fastball, swung on and missed, 0-1. Well, they broke the drought of playoff appearances in 2008, finally getting back to the postseason, but they struggled to get themselves beyond 500 in 2009, and the road record was something that they just could not get things going and get a level of consistency. And Quentin pulls it in. We were talking about the uh, Brew crew, and you you see that pitching change on the road, a game below 500, and they surrendered a lot of runs. Well, they sure did, and that's just a tribute to what they have to do in 2010 if they're going to compete. They have to find some better starting pitching. Look, Trevor Hoffman was great at the end of games for them. Problem was getting the ball to him with a lead. Yeah, I think pitching, starting pitching has to be the key. I think the bullpen, they can piece together. The starting pitching was the problem in 09, and it has to be a key as they move forward. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Braun to protect that zone now. Tough spot for the hitter. Down 0-2. you got to protect right now. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Well hit towards the middle. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Three up, three down for Jake Peavy. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And the White Sox, their first chance has come. Thank you. 
and Yovani Gallardo is the pitcher. Milwaukee has him starting. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Young Yovani Gallardo out on the mound in this one. And take a look at the stuff he's going to bring. He's got a fastball that really is deceptive. He's got that over-the-top delivery where a fastball jumps on you and it can get by you. And then out of that same plane where he throws the fastball, he'll throw that biting curveball. Awfully tough to pick it up with the deception in his delivery. Swings and misses the good change right there. 0 and 1. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball and he pulled the string on it. Got him to swing right through it. Strike two. Pierre now has got to be careful, but a good punch hitter. Well, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Flied to right. And Pierre is retired. That's one away. Shortstop. Number 10. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. With a team that struggled all season with starting pitching, Giovanni Gallardo was the guy that they counted on and counted on every fifth day. 13 big wins, a 3 7 3 RA, and he established himself as an ace of that staff. If they can put guys around him with the way they can score runs, this team has a chance to contend in the National League Central. And it's 0 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Gallardo's got to believe that uh, his ERA can probably come down at least another quarter of a point. And if he can do that, he's got a chance to be 17 18 game winner. And that may be enough to put Milwaukee into the postseason. That really is. And if they can get some help in that rotation. But the thing about Gallardo is, you know, it's ERA 3.73, but he walked 94 guys. And that's a lot of walks for a guy that only threw 185 and two thirds innings. If he can figure out a way to be more consistent in the strike zone, that win total will go up. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, you take a look at Alexi Ramirez. He's one of the more exciting players in baseball. Finally got moved to his more natural position shortstop. And I tell you what, this is a guy that can excite you in a lot of ways. He can hit for power. He can hit for average. And he's not a big guy, but I tell you what, he can generate some power in that frame. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And he'll step on the bag. That'll do it. So a good inning from Giovanni Gallardo. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And coming up, we'll see the Brewers. Clean up batter. You'll have next. And here's Prince Fielder. He's the RBI leader from a year ago. Prince Fielder. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And that gets down the Brewers, their first base hit. Coming to well, he ranks near the top, Brewers. no question about it. A tremendous offensive player and a guy that uh, they're looking to have a major impact in this lineup this season. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. And we've got McGee batting. On the ground to short. Up with it. One away. Well, let's take a look to Milwaukee Brewers and where they ended up rank wise last year in the National League. Third in home runs, third in runs, and an offense that can slug the ball, not settling for singles. They go up there looking to drive it third in the league in slugging percentage. And Gamble's in the box. Man on second, one away. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Watches that fastball that goes by him for a strike. Just badly with that curve there, one and one. Sharp bite to that slider, one and two. Go. 
Slider swung out and missed. Two down. The Milwaukee Brewers. Here's the slider coming right at you in K Cam. Get a better look at that. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bit a little bit. He really used the off speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. It's hit foul by Hart. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. This one towards Pierre. That one's grabbed. Side retired. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. The Brewers unable to get on the board. Middle of the lineup coming along. Well, we're trying to keep warm. Here's the pitch. A line drive towards short. And Beckham set down. Well, we've got a moment to look back to last year's Chicago White Sox and see how they ranked. Sixth in home runs, sixth in stolen bases, and they were in the top ten in team batting average with runners in scoring position, getting a lot of clutch base hits, and that's a great stat for a team that wants to win ball games. And swing and a miss on Gallardo's pitch. 0 and 1. And the 2009 season was a big disappointment for Alex Rios, starting out with the Toronto Blue Jays and then continuing on when he got traded to the Chicago White Sox at the trade deadline. Things just didn't get better in either place. Lined right at the second baseman. Two away. Well, sometimes you have to hit them where they're not. And that was a shot right there, but they hit it right to the second baseman for now. It's going to be Przinski. Base is empty with two outs. He's looking a little confused out there right now. He just swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. Here's the 0 1 from Gallardo. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Oh, look at that big 12 to 6 breaking ball right there. That's a oh. tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Out in front, swinging early. Here's the pitch. Oh. Still 0 and 2. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0 2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. Oh. And he fouls another one off. And he fouls off another one. Well, he tried to get that fastball by him, and as long as this at bat continues, he's going to continue to throw that fastball. If he fouls it off, this at bat will go on a long time. You're There's out. a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. He gets the throw down to first base, and they'll get the out. That's a great play there by the catcher. When the pitcher throws one in the dirt like that, he's really hoping the catcher will block it, keep it in front, and be able to get the out at first. Kind of plays that can change the momentum of a game if you don't get that out. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. And coming up, we'll see the Brewers. And Zahn's batting. Greg 
Swings and misses the sinker 0 and 1. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. This one beyond him. It's going to be extra bases. Zahn heads for third. He throws. And he's in there at third ahead of the play. Tagged at home and he is out of there. Second baseman, number 30. And we've got council batting. Base is empty, one out. And Przinski calls for the pitch. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. And Council retires. That's two gone. Gomez at the plate. Base is empty and two down. The first pitch. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Boy, he's got some kind of sinker ball right there. You, it looks like it's starting at the knees, and it drops right down to the ankles. Here's the 0 1 from Peavy. Swung on, line softly to right, and that's going to be a base hit for Gomez. And, and that's going to bring Alcides Escobar up. Well, you got to love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the play. Two outs and a man on first. And Escobar ready for the first pitch. Escobar makes contact, fouls it away. Swing and a rocket towards short. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. No run yet for Milwaukee. Other than Ozzy, that's Ozzy Gian. He's watched some great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats, though, important now to get the offense stinging. And here's Mike Tian leading it off. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. Oh, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. And Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. Is hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads up play. There's a big two right there. Nobody on base. One away. Swing and a ball hit high in the air. Straight away left field. Right off the wall. So Juan Pierre will come up. Well, with one out here and a guy on first base, the last thing you want to do is hit into a double play. Let's see if he can stay away from that. One down, runner at first. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. Two away. And he is out at second. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. We're through three innings now. Leading it off is Ryan Braun. Top five hits last year. Ryan Braun. And he starts Braun out. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Oh, 
uh, some kind of player, no doubt about it. They're glad to have him in the lineup because he can get it done, and he got it done all season long last year, Gary. Here's the pitch, and that swung on and hit Rios, and it drops now in for a base hit. That will bring up Prince Fielder. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. And the elite home run leader in the top five last season. Here's Fielder's first look. He makes contact, line drive, and it's caught by Ramirez. And we've got McGee batting. Casey McGee solidified that third base position for the Milwaukee Brewers in his rookie season. You see the numbers that he put up the 16 home runs but he had a lot of clutch hits down the stretch of Milwaukee Brewers to help them win games and stay close in the race until the end. Ball one started off the at bat it's one and oh for McGee the 2009 season his first real chance at the major league level he'd been called up the year before but only with the expanded roster. Well, and that's what makes this so special for this kid is the fact that Milwaukee Brewers saw something in him. Here's a kid who probably could have been traded for something to get some pieces to help build his team. But they saw something in him to move Ryan Braun to the outfield. And now he's paying dividends. Two away. These teams set the tone in offense last year. Let's take a look. Brought to you by State Farm. The Phillies, number one. Second, the Rockies. In third, the Brewers. Fourth, the Dodgers. And we've got the Marlins ranked fifth. Well, this is a pitcher's dream when you have an offense like this on your side. You know you're going to get a ton of runs. You don't have to be so precise. You can let runs score because you know your offense is going to pick you up. The good thing about this team is they like to score runs. They like to score them early in the game. That gives your team a lot of confidence. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Ball! Ooh, missed badly there. And it's 1-1. One and one. Good movement on the cut fastball there. Just couldn't quite catch the bottom corner of the strike zone. Good eye at the plate. And he looks at a fastball in there, and it's 1-2 and two now. The 1-2 on its way. Ball! That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. The throw... No luck beating him to second. He is in there. Here it comes. Swing and a foul straight back. And another foul ball. Well, you tell yourself in the at bat as it keeps going, there's no way I'm striking out. I'm not swinging and missing to give him an easy out. He got wood on that one to stay alive. Pretty good curveball, though. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. So Jake Peavy holding it down. He's been shutting him out through four. Dual shutout. And it'll be the White Sox. Glimpse of Ken Mocker. He's hoping for that Number offense 10. to come alive sooner than later. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Third year ball player now. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. And swing and a miss on Gallardo's pitch. 0 and 1. Boy, he's got a great 12 to 6 curveball. This is a swing and miss pitch. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. In the olden days, I think Steve they used to call this 12 to 6 the old drop ball. Oh, that's right. It looks like it's right off the edge of the table and just dropping straight down. And so Ramirez retired. Number and Paul Canerco to bat. One out, base is empty. 
At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. Curveball swung on and missed. Now it's 0-1. Well, the thing about Paul Canerco now at this stage in his career is he'll play a lot of games at first base, but when he needs a break, he can go to that DH role. He's not a guy that's going to steal any bases. He has hardly any speed left, but he's a run producer in the middle of that lineup and a leader in that clubhouse. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. The ability to move your pitches around within the zone, to change a hitter's eye level and keep them off balance are critical to success. Very successful there. Three pitches and a strikeout. First pitch to Quinton. First pitch curveball. Swung on a miss. Going one. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way out in front he was on that swing. And Gallardo's now got the 0-2 count. Strike three. Quinton on a swing and a miss. He's out. And a quick inning for Giovanni Gallardo. Well, he's displaying the mastery of the mound right now. That's the story on both sides here. We're through four now as the top of the fifth coming up. And Hart's batting. Right fielder, number one, Corey Hart. And here's the first one. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez. Retiring Hart. And Zahn's batting. He tripled his last time up. One out, nobody on. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody on. This one's going to be fielded by Ramirez. Two away. Now our State Farm leaderboard looking at the teams leading the league in slugging percentage from last year. The Phillies, number one. Second, the Rockies. In third, the Brewers. Fourth, the Marlins. And we've got the Cardinals, who are number five. Well, slugging percentage plays a key part in any team's offense, and this team was one of the best in the league last year at doing that. They seem to hit for extra bases. You know, everyone says, well, they get on second base a lot, they score runs, but also they drive in a ton of runs with all those extra base hits that they get. That's why their slugging percentage is so high and why they're so successful. Nope, that one not in there. Peavy missing. Right. One one pitch slider taken for a strike. One and two. Perfect location right there. Able to get the breaking ball down and in. Tough one to hit. One two pitch coming. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throws to first side is retired. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. The Brewers unable to get on the board. And Beckham's in the box. Second baseman. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Should have let that one go by. Hits the dirt, but it's a strike on a swing. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. And it holds at 0-2. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. Oh, and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. Now, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it, and getting the runner out just in time. That could be a great way to start the offense if you can get a runner like that on, because that's really a steal when you do. Swung on by Rio, strike one. Two hits, 17 at bats lifetime off the Brewers. 
Here's the 0-1 from Gallardo. That's hit foul by Rios. And Alex Rios has struck out a big swing and a miss. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher. And he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers love that. Those are short at bats. You get it done in a hurry. And here's the first one. Gerardo's pitch is swung on and missed. Well, that's some kind of pitch. And you set up the target on the outside corner, and he paints the black with it. Awfully tough when you have that kind of location. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. This one's to Hart. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. No scoring here, ending this half inning. And coming up, we'll see the Brewers. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. And uh, you kind of sense that desperation for offense right now. You got to get this club on the board. He's got the confidence in his pitching. And it's Carlos Gomez to lead us off. And the first pitch. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. Gary, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game, and you know they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. That's just not enough offense. Strike two now, no balls, two strikes. Carlos Gomez needing to protect the plate. The hitter's got to be in defense mode right here, just looking to make contact. Got to shorten up the swing. Oh. That one gets passed, but no damage done. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out one away. You talk about a guy who had full command of his pitches, only four of them, but he located and executed them perfectly. And as a result, uh, this game stays close late. Yeah, and you got to battle a little better than that. You just can't let a pitcher go in there and get four quick pitches and get a big strikeout. You got to battle better than that. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. He gets Escobar to swing. That's strike one. Oh. Escobar makes contact, fouls it away. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Boy, uh, those strikeouts so important coming late in the ball game keeps that confidence up. Well, they tell you that strikeouts add to the pitch count, but a three-pitch strikeout right there, he can go forever on that one. And here's Ryan Braun. Last year, National League, number one in hits. And he starts Braun out. And that's a ball. PB too far outside with it. Here's the 1 0. Braun swings and misses, and the count is even. Lifetime record, 1 for 5 off Peavy. The 1 1 pitch. There's a called strike in the inner half, now 1 and 2. Good, hard, boring, sinking action on that one. Good stuff. Got him. And he has just been magnificent through six. Still got outs to get Steve, but he's in this one. Now, uh, Gary, he's got his great stuff and his great location. So they're shut down again. That's six shutout innings so far. The Brewers unable to get on the board. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports.
And here's Mark Tian leading it off. 0 for 1 thus far. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Here's one. Hit very well deep. Gomez is there. And he grabs it in his track. And it's Mark Kotze in the box now. One out, nobody on. And swing and a miss on Gallardo's pitch. 0 and 1. But just a little bit out in front of that fastball on that swing. And it's 0 and 2. Kotze just trying to punch one here. Struck him out. That's now number eight in the game. For the Chicago but just a great sequence that's of pitches either. right there, and it number only took six. him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. Two outs and nobody on. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0-1. And Gallardo's now got the 0-2 count. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. Line drive. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Statistics say that the 0-2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation, he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Ramirez will foul that one away. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. Swung on line to right center field. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. Pierre is heading home. And he scores from first. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Number 14. A productive hit right there. You can see the impact on our Pepsi WPA graph. Now the pitcher left this one over the middle part of the plate, right where the hitter can make contact. Good piece of hitting. Boy, with the run scoring there, that's a pretty, pretty fat pitch in an RBI situation. Keep the rally going. And here's Paul Canerco. Steve, great determination by this offense. It looks like they may take charge of this ball game late. Here we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? Swung on and ripped towards second. And it's through into the gap. Should be extra bases. And Ramirez is home. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rep at it. Nice, short, compact swing. First pitch to Quinton. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1 from Gallardo. Lined hard down the left field line. And it's in there. They're going to try and score Canerco. And Canerco will score. Now batting for the Chicago. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And Beckham's in the box. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Well, now they're putting some distance between themselves and their opponent. With it, bats like that keep tacking on the runs and pulling away. And swing and a miss on Gallardo's pitch. 0 and 1. 
What they're looking for right here is to keep this offense rolling now. Get this going. Well, that's right. I mean, they've got it rolling now. Swung on, line to right field. And that's going to do it. Hart's there. Finally, someone finding a way to get it done at the plate. Several runs after that drought. The White Sox lead three to nothing. There's a look at the skipper, Ken Maka. And uh, tough decisions, maybe, or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. You'll try to give it to him. And Prince Fielder will lead it off. Lined out last time up. Here's Fielder's first look. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Well, holding them scoreless so far in this one and only allowed four hits, Gary, and I think a real credit to what he's been able to do. Outstanding work between the pitcher and catcher. Just a great plan of attack. Here's the pitch. Brings him up. You can almost taste the adrenaline right now, Steve. You can just tell. He's getting stronger as he goes along. Uh, he's got so much confidence. He's just knocking the bats out of the batter's hands. Now we're going to take a look at this curveball in K-Cam. Base is empty with one away. First pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Out number two. The question is, can he keep this going? Well, you know what? It's different for every guy, but from what we see today, he is locked in, dominating stuff, and he looks strong. Ball. Really bad pitch right there to ball. One oh on the way and he takes a called strike to make it one and one good hard boring sinking action on that one good stuff. He takes a fastball for a strike now it's one and two. Got it. The side is retired, and Stevie has shut him down, and it's seven now under his belt. Unstoppable at this point. Absolutely unstoppable. I think he's going to finish it off. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. The Brewers unable to get on the board. Looking ahead, six, seven, eight. They're due up. Alex Rios up. He's going to get things going here. Home half, seventh inning. 51. Alex Rios. And Zahn calls for the pitch. Now swinging a shot toward second. So Rios is set down. For the Chicago White Sox. It's going to be Krasinski. Well, A.J. Krasinski put together a pretty solid season for the White Sox in 2009. Hitting 300. He doesn't strike out a lot. He's a contact guy. You'd like to see maybe drive in a little more runs. Only 49 RBIs. But I tell you what, what he does for the pitching staff is something that can't be ignored. Strike started off the at bat 0-1. A.J. Krasinski, you look at the size and you think you're going to get a lot of big hard ground at a short. And that'll put Krasinski on first. The best hitters in the game use the whole field. You have to be able to go the other way. Even when the pitch is over the heart of the plate, that's what he does right there. Guys prolong their career, not with power, but with base hits that are hit that way. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0-1. Well, just an unbelievably poor swing against that changeup right there. No wonder he missed it. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take... Very close approach on the next one. Got him. Ninth strikeout of the game. The the Very little Chicago movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour, courtesy of KK. Two straight Chelsea. fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. Runner on first, two away. 
Here's the first pitch to Kotsik. Erdos pitch is swung on and missed. He deals. And it's 0 and 2. Kotze just trying to punch one here. Oh, what a great curveball right there. You see how he fooled the hitter and got him way out in front. Up the middle. And in there, he's two for three today. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung's kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that. You're right. On an 0 2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And he's back easily. Made a dive to get in. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. And swing and a miss on Gallardo's pitch. 0 and 1. Here's a swing and a broken bat ground ball. And it gets through a two for four ball game. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0 1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. Sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0 and 2. He was going to wail. Uh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. And Latroy Hawkins gets ready to throw. The Brewers bring him in to relieve. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And he'll be hacking right here, Steve, with the sacks full. And he could pretty much put this game out of reach with a big hit. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Oh! Line drive fouled off towards first. Oh, and Ramirez fights off yet another during this event. Well, the battle starts when you step in the batter's box, but the real battle starts when the count is 0-2, and that's where he sees himself. But give him credit. He's keeping himself alive by fouling off towards the middle. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. And Pierzynski comes in. Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Number 14, Paul Canerco. That pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Pitch on the way. A smash between short and third. And Conte crosses the plate. They need to get it out right now. I mean, this offense just has kept right the pressure on them. Number they 20. need to regroup and get it out. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. Show no mercy. When the offense is going, you don't give up at bats, and they're not. Now, Gary, as you can see, this offense just keeps on rolling, keeps on producing. Why don't you keep on rolling, Garrett? There's a swing and a long, high drive. Still going back. That one really seals this one, Steve. A grand slam. That puts him way out in front. Well, not wasted any time. Bases loaded, the pressure on the pitcher. He knew he had to try to get ahead of him. And boy, he made him pay for it. Most hitters will say they come up and they're not really looking for the grand slam. Well, I have a feeling right there that's exactly what he was looking for. Why not take a shot at him? Up to the plate. For the Chicago Is this White thing from Milwaukee's perspective? I mean, the Brewers just cannot stem the tide here. They're getting pounded. He delivers. Well hit towards the middle. Throws on to first, side is retired. So they put some distance between themselves and their opponents here with this big inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. Here's a look at Ozzie, Ozzie Gian. Right fielder. And right now his lineup is in overdrive. A exciting bit of run production, a good way to keep your manager happy. And 
Hart's batting. He'll lead it off here, inning number eight. First pitch on the way. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0 oh, 1. A tremendous effort out on the mound in this one. We're deep into the ball game. I mean, we're getting close to the end of this one. They've only been able to get four hits against him, and he shut them down and kept them off the scoreboard. Strike two. Strike two now with no balls, two strikes. Corey Hart will protect. Well, he was way behind on that one. Must have been looking for something else. Oh. Tried to get him to go after that slider, but it's one and two. Well, this broke a little bit too much out of the zone right here for a ball, but he's got to bring it back in, rein that thing in a little bit. Brings him up. You talk about dominance in a baseball game, you're seeing it here on the mound. I tell you, there's not a hitter in this lineup that has a clue how to hit this guy. What he wants now is that shutout. And Zahn's batting. Last time up, flew out. Base is empty, one out. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Look out, that one ran in and got him. Well, he didn't throw this one where he wanted to as the ball just kind of moves in on the plate and gets a piece of the hitter. And we've got Council batting. Well, Gary, we see that guy get hit with a pitch. I mean, sometimes, listen, as a pitcher, you just lose a grip on the ball. It doesn't come out of your hand the right way. You end up hitting somebody. And it's through. That's a base hit. And he's aboard now easily. Tremendous situation Center now for Milwaukee. For two. Steve, All sometimes right. that pitch Go down away. the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. Well, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. And the first pitch. And he squares around, gets down the butt. Peavy. Throw is not in now time, and that will be an infield single. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, he's trying to advance the runners with this bunt. He's not bunting for a base hit, but once he got it down, he realized this is going to be a tough play, so he hustled down the line. They couldn't get anybody out. Three on and one out. Now the first pitch. Swung on and a ground at a first. And Zahn crosses. So he's aboard on the error. And more importantly, a run scores. Uh, it's just the same. You see the shutout broken up right there, Gary. But still, just a tremendous performance today. The chance to drive in a run here for Ryan Braun. One of the best duos in all baseball live in Milwaukee for the Milwaukee Brewers, and that's Ryan Braun and Prince Fielder. And Ryan Braun, another unbelievable season. Think about the fact that he was an infielder, moved to the outfield two years ago, and he is not. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. Two. Here comes the runner for the plate. There's one. Well, he got a pitch to hit over the heart of the plate, right at the belt. He drove it. Didn't get the base hit, but at least advanced the runners. Did get something out of it. I, I'm sure he'd like to have that pitch back. That was one he, he really had a shot at driving. Here's Fielder's first look. Called strike, and Peavy's got him on one. Well, the pitcher gets away with one right here. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. Batter just let it go by. Here's the delivery. Here's a swing and a line drive. And that's out number three. They pick up two runs on two hits and leave a couple on base. Still a battle ahead for Milwaukee, but they've at least started. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. And he starts Rios out. There's a swing towards the hole. That's 
Chicago, gonna bring up AJ Pierzynski. Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're gonna have to keep a close eye on him, and maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. First pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter, swung late. Swing, and oh, he shatters his bat as he hits this one on the ground. And two, a double play. Nice play, especially on the relay to first, 4-6-3. Uh, that's textbook right there, tailor-made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. And here's Martian. Struck out swinging last time. Two out, space is empty. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. And here's the delivery. That one's drilled to short, and he cannot cut it off. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Well, they sent down the first two men of this inning, but they couldn't get him out. A big double right there with two outs, and a two-out hit will score a run. And it's Mark Kotze in the box now. This one's grounded near third. Foul. The pitch. And runs that count to 0-2. Latroy Hawkins, maybe a put away here. Well, they've got them right where they want them. Uh, once again, another runner in scoring position in all game long. They've delivered uh, in the clutch as they have just been pounding the ball offensively. Throws to first in time. That's three down. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. White Sox nine, Brewers two. Take a look there at Ken Maka. He's reflecting right now, not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And we've got McGeehee batting. He's going to start the ninth inning. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as they make the pitching swap. I'll tell you what, this is one of those decisions you can go either way. He's pitched pretty well to this point. But it is getting late. Do you want to take any chances? The manager decides to go to the pen. And here's the first one just off the outside and it's one and oh well non safe situation right here in the ninth inning and they just want to get outs right now try to get the first out of the inning take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs and get an out you can really deflate them. Jenks with a delivery and he swings right through that one two and one. Here's the 2 1 pitch. 2 1 delivery of fastball swung on. Strike two. Oh. And that misses the outside corner. It'll run it full. 3 and 2. Here's the payoff pitch. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching here. Well, they went away right there, and he put a pretty good swing on it, but just couldn't quite make contact. Walking back to the dugout now. And Gamble's in the box. No hits, one at bat. Lifetime off Jenks. Nobody on base, one away. And the first pitch. Great one! The pitch swung on and missed strike two. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. Now, K Cam's going to show us a good look of this slider. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the first pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Out. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. Uh, with a great one here today, Gary. And it's all because of the pitching. Outstanding pitching really leading them to victory. And time to present the Pepsi Clutch Performer Award. A terrific mound game. The work of Jake Peavy. You know, a lot of times pitchers get really too hard on themselves, and they're their toughest critic. But I don't think he can find too much to complain about after this effort. Yes, he did give up just the one earned run, but his bats came through for him on the offensive end, and he took care of the rest. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Clark, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.